Hi everybody, Mark Carey from Steepleview Farm. You know, springtime is the perfect time to plant asparagus. But when you get ready to plant asparagus, there are a couple things you need to think about. First of all, where am I going to plant my, aspar my asparagus? That's pretty important because once you plant it, it's going to be there 8 to 15 years and it's not going anywhere. So you need a permanent bed. Secondly, if you plant year old asparagus, you're not going to get a harvest this year. You're going to have to let it grow all the way up and become a big tall grass and let it go. It gets a lot of chlorophyll from the leaves. That's to build a bigger root system. So you want a permanent place and don't try to harvest it. The second thing you need to think about is how you're going to prepare your bed. When you plant asparagus, you're going to receive it as these little crowns. The crown, I'll show them to you here in a minute, but before you get ready to plant your crowns, you want to make sure that you've developed your bed the way it's supposed to be. You want to somewhere between five and eight inches deep and about eight inches wide. And you want each of the rows to be about three feet apart. When you get your asparagus, it's going to come in a box and they're going to be crowns that look like this. If you can't plant them right away, wrap them in a wet paper towel, put them in some sort of sphagnum peat moss that's been wetted and stick it in the refrigerator for a while. Once you're ready to plant your crowns, get outside first, prepare your bed. Once you've got your trench dug and your dirt piled up, line the bottom of your bed with a good quality compost. And I highly recommend that you put some worm castings in there too. So now when you get your crowns, they're going to come in a great big bundle like this. And you're going to go, what in the world is that? Well, let me show you. Each one of these has a crown on it right here. This is the part that's going to grow up, and these are the roots. You need to take these roots and spread them out, and you need to put them in your ditch and spread the roots out so that the crowns are laying in the bottom of the ditch, kind of like a big spider in there. You want to space each of these plants five to eight inches apart. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to bury these at the right depth and space them at the right spacing. Make sure you've got a tape measure, yardstick, something with you so you know what the distance is. Here's the consequence. If they're too deep, you won't get a good production and you'll get bigger stems. If they're too shallow, you'll get a lot of little bitty stems and you won't be satisfied with the quality of your asparagus. You can't go back and fix this. So this is very important that you do it on day one. The day you plant your asparagus, the first thing you need to do is prepare your bed, make your trench, figure out your measurements, amend the soil, and then we'll show you how to plant it, what to do with it once they're in the ditch. Don't forget when you plant these crowns, spacing is very important. You want to have these crowns about eight inches apart throughout the row, and the row is about three feet apart. So depth is critical, spacing between the plants is critical, spacing between the rows is critical. If you don't, you're going to get either plants that are shoots way too big, or you're going to get plants that come up and the shoots are going to be way too small. You'll be very disappointed. All right, so once you get your asparagus crowns in the ditch, your ditch needs to be about 12 inches wide. As you can see, these are really, really big root systems. They look kind of like crabs or something laying in here, right? Well, once you get them in the ditch and they're spaced about eight inches apart, you really only want to cover them with just a little bit of soil, maybe an inch or so over top of the crowns. Over the season, as they begin to put up shoots, when the shoots get up taller, you rake a little bit more dirt in on them. So literally, I'm just going to show you right here, you just want to take some of your composted soil and you just barely want to cover the roots and the crowns. You don't want to cover them much. You want to make sure you can, the crown is just, it's right, there's the crown. You really only want just a little bit of soil over that. Make sure your roots are buried, but make sure the crowns are only about an inch below the ground to start with. Okay, so now that you've got your, your roots buried, now come back, find all your crowns, and then just lightly cover them with about an inch. Everything is under, but the crowns themselves are barely under the soil. So once you've got your asparagus in the ground, you've got your roots completely covered, and you've covered your crowns with about an inch, make sure you water it in greatly. 
Today, I'm trying to get this in between the rainstorms. We're expecting a whole bunch of rain this afternoon, so I shouldn't have to water this. It should kind of do it on its own, um, but you've got to keep it wet during its first season so it can establish root growth beneath the soil. That's gonna be the key to your asparagus crop. And don't forget, asparagus, when it finally starts to come up, resist the temptation to harvest it in the first year. It's gonna to be too small, and it will also take away from the ability of the plant to grow tall, have leaves and fronds, and develop the chlorophyll necessary to go down and feed those roots. So let it grow the first year, and the second year when you get ready to harvest, only harvest shoots that are at least as big around as a pencil. Let everything else go, then sit back and wait to enjoy fresh asparagus from your asparagus bed for the next eight to 15 years. I'm like you, I can't wait. I love asparagus, but I'm gonna have to. So that's it for now from Steve View Farm. Don't forget, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the little button down in the corner, subscribe to our channel. We're posting new content all the time. Stay with us to enjoy the life here at Steeple View Farm. You know how to follow everything we're doing. We're on the internet, www.steepleviewfarm.net. And like I say, all year long, we hope to see you here. Thank you.